Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. Today, I am here with the Ipsy Unboxing slash Try On. And so, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I need to grab some brow products. We are gonna go ahead and go in with brows, and so today, I'm just going to be using my Milani, um, my Milani Stay Put Brow Color in the shade Soft Brown. So that's what we're gonna be using on our brows today. And yeah, I'm just gonna speed it through this because the makeup today is not about old stuff. Most of it, most of the products I use today will be new products. So now that we do kind of have something going on with our brows, I wonder why my brows always look so big like on camera, but in person, I never feel like they look that big. I don't know. So we do have a few new things to try out. Um, some new makeup that I've bought and things like that. And then obviously my Ipsy unboxing. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing portion. And I will tell you how much everything retails. And then at the end, I will put on the screen exactly how much everything costs. So we'll just go ahead and start an order. So the first thing that I got in my box, and this is what I chose. I actually chose this. And so this is the Dr. The Dr. Brandt Microderma, Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. Um, and it says it values at $79. I haven't used this, haven't tried it out. Um, I really wanted this one for nighttime. I don't know if you can use this every day, but I really want it, or it says one to two times per week. Okay, so allowing three days between the application. So it says like a trip to the derm in a jar because it was developed by one. A mixture of, le of lactic acid, acid and micro crystals slow away the day to reveal brighter, tighter skin and a soothing blend of jojoba, cameo, and aloe vera help reduce redness. Wow, look at that glow. So yeah, I actually did pick this one just because I'm actually running out of my daily um, exfoliator. And so I figured that this would be cool. I can't use this every day, but I'm excited to try that out. And like I said, this actually retails for $79. Okay, so the next thing I got in my box is this Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in Martini. And so let's see what color this is. A metallic bronze olive with a mirror-like shine and a rich creamy feel. Your lids have been waiting for a shadow this good. And this retails for $22. Oh, you know what this packaging reminds me of? Of my L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow and amber rush that's what this packaging reminds me of that's just what the color looks like Let's see how much i can get on my finger and then that ooh, oh well then i wish i would have gone over my knuckle like i said this does come with a little thing to like keep it pressed in there and then this is just what the packaging looks like so it's just a little pot eyeshadow that's super super metallic -y. i wish i would have gone over my knuckles it made it look super patchy but that is what it looks like when it's blended out. And that is super duper, super duper pretty. Like I said, this retails for $22. The next thing I got in at my box is this Trestique All Over Starlight Powder Stick in Ultraviolet. And this retails for $18. This is, so it's a highlighter in the shade Ultraviolet. And so, ooh. I don't know if I like shades like this. Like, I feel like this is gonna be way too white for my skin. The packaging is cute. Doesn't that look like a little pencil? So this is what this looks like. Ooh, it's really powdery. Guys, I honestly don't know how often I would use a highlighter like that. I think that this would be really, really pretty as an eyeshadow. Oh, like you could twist it up. You don't get very much product in that. So that's that. You twist it up. And that's literally all you get. But I mean, you don't need a lot, but like I said, this is, be a lot prettier as a shadow. I'm not too sure about highlighter, at least not on me. Like it's really pretty, but it's more of an eyeshadow to me, not a face highlight. And this is the cheek to cheek butt blush palette. And this is just what the packaging looks like. This retails for $28. So this better be one heck of a blush palette. Your peach all dolled up and a heartbreaker are the shades that I got. Well, this one kind of has a highlighter in it. Like, so I think that this is more of a highlighter. 
So I'm guessing that this is your peach all dolled up heartbreaker. That would only make sense to me. I don't see why this one be called your peach. Well, let me see what this looks like. Cause this is more of a highlighter as well. Yeah, that's more of a highlighter. So I'm glad I have a backup highlighter cause we're not using that today. But yeah, and then these other two blushes are just super pretty, super basic, cool tone blushes peach blushes and so that's that and like i said that retails for 28 dollars. and then the last thing i got were these jewel smith beauty power gloss duo in namaste namaste all day and serene queen so this is just what these look like and these are lip glosses and so this is what these look like right here it's just what these look like and then so let's swatch one so this darker one is Namaste All Day. They have a smell that reminds me of something as, oh, these are really pigmented glosses. Cool, that's really pretty. And then I got Serene Queen. They smell like cough medicine to me is what they smell like. So that one's a little bit more sheer. I bet these would be really pretty like together. So that's those and these retailed for $32. So we're at, I mean, this box is worth a lot of money. I'll have to add it up because I hate doing math in my head. But yeah, so that's everything that we got in the box. And then they actually did start including the bag again because at first, like, you weren't getting the bag. And now you are starting to get the bag again that comes with it. I might actually save this for my grandma because my grandma really, really loves Betty Boop. Like, she, every, since I, when I was growing up, like, everything she had, like, Betty Boop or Sunflowers. So Betty Boop or Sunflowers is my grandma's jam. Like I said, that's everything that we got in the box. I will go ahead and place the total somewhere up here or something like that. And now we are gonna go ahead and get into the makeup application. Oh, and a few other new things that we're trying is I am going to be trying out the Wet n Wild Foundation Stick. Now I know that this is super duper old, but I've been wanting to try it out since it came out. So. I decided to go ahead and try that out. We're gonna be trying out some Salon Perfect 614s. My packaging is all messed up because my child decided to go into my makeup and rip all my lashes out of their packages, but at least he didn't mess up the lashes. And then I did wanna try, I got this in the box last month or the month before. And this was the Ciate Translucent, Extraordinary Translucent Powder. And I just wanna try this again because I did not like it that day. And since I'm not keeping my makeup on all day, I thought today would be like another good try for it with a different foundation, just some different makeup, some more products. So anyways, we are going to go ahead and get into the makeup application. So I have found a new, I have found a new favorite primer duo. So that's my Ulta Beauty Hydrating Primer and then the Urban Decay um, Optical Illusion Primer. So like always, I do go ahead and go in, making sure I don't have any makeup on my hands. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Ulta Beauty Hydrating Primer all over my face. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Optical Illusion and I'm taking not even a full pump of this, guys. Like half a pump, I take the smallest amount. Because if you guys remember, I was saying that I don't, I can't really figure out like what pore filling primer to use to not make my makeup look crappy and so I do take like just that little bit and then I push it in mostly to this area right here when I discovered this it was actually our anniversary date night and Brian could not stop telling me like how flawless my face looked and it made me feel super duper good okay and then of course the last thing I go in with is just a little bit of wet and wild photo focus cucumber three in one primer water and I'm just gonna spray my face with this I do not like the way the cucumber one smells. So anyways, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna go ahead and go in and apply foundation first because we're not doing a real dramatic makeup look today. So this, I got mine in the shade Classic Beige. Seems, mind you, I bought this online. So I'm surprised that I got such a good shade for me. So yeah, shade Classic Beige. I am gonna go ahead and try it with my what, with my e.l.f. sponge. And if not, I do have this foundation brush from my uh, Amazon pack. And so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to blend this out. Actually blends, blends out pretty easily with the sponge. I like the coverage, looks nice. It 
blends out really easy with the sponge. I really thought I might need a brush. People say that with most stick foundations, you need a brush. So yeah, I actually really like the coverage. I'm loving everything so far about this foundation. Like it's looking super duper pretty. It looks really pretty on the skin. So all I'm gonna do is go in over these spots where I've been breaking out recently and just add a little bit more for a little extra coverage and see how it builds. So just anywhere that I have a little pimple, we're just gonna go over those spots a little bit more. Yeah, guys, I really like this way, the way this foundation looks. I think this is underrated. People stop talking about it. And yeah, I, so far I really like this. I hope the powder doesn't mess it up again. Just going in with my Catrice Cam Liquid Camouflage Concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and conceal and highlight at the same time. Next thing we'll be going into is the Extraordinary um, Powder Translucent. We're gonna set our face and I'll probably just set under my eyes and not so much the face makeup because I'm really loving like how my skin is looking and I just want to for it to continue to look like that. So I am just gonna set under my eyes and my eyelids with this powder and everywhere else I put concealer. <laughs> Okay, I don't remember what foundation I use this powder with, what primers I use this powder with, but right now, this powder looks really pretty. So I am gonna go ahead and try to set the rest of my face with it. Try not to put too much because it is very, very white. Got a little friend right here, right here, and a new one right here. I don't know what it is, like I can't stop breaking out, but I'm just glad like the really bad breakouts that were right here, like on my cheeks, like I'm glad that those are clearing up. Okay, so that is it for the face makeup. Like I said, this is actually looking really pretty on my skin right now. Um, I don't remember what foundation I use this with, primer, anything like that, but right now, like I'm glad that I decided to give this a second go because I am loving how it looks right now. And so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take my um, butter bronzer and I'm gonna throw this in my crease just because I don't want to do too much to the eyes today so I'm just gonna throw some of this into my crease today go ahead and just get just try to build it up get a little bit on the outer corner and just build it up into the crease <laughs> It's finally gotten cold here in Lubbock, but like tomorrow it's already gonna be back in the 80s. But like yesterday, it was fit in the 50s and then today it's in the 60s and I've been loving it. Like it just, so cozy, but my house traps heat really easily. So I still have to have the AC on in the house, but it's like on 73. So it's still warmer than it is outside, but it's still cool enough inside, if that makes sense. Cause there's nothing worse than walking into a house where like, it's unenjoyably warm from walking in outside. That's when I, like, that's when in winter, winter, when you need that, like, for it to be super duper warm. But I don't like the feeling of, like, I can't explain it. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I can't explain it. And so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in Martini. And we're just gonna pack this on to like the inner third of our eye. And we're gonna do that with a BH Cosmetics number nine brush. It's just like a little shader brush, a little fluffy shader brush. And so I don't really know. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and, we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Just go in. I don't know if it's because I'm using a brush, but like what's going on on my hand is not what it's looking like on my eye so far. Mm -hmm. 
But I am gonna leave it like this, like since I don't have a lot going on in my crease or outer corner, I think like the subtleness of it is really, really pretty. And it's not bad for it being dry, so I think if you wet it or use your finger, if you're wanting that more dramatic look, like that's what you should go for. Okay, so I just realized that my purse is in the car and my lash glue is in my purse that's in the car while Brian is at work. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna go ahead and pile on the mascara. <laughs> but yeah, I really like that, how it's looking. So, and since it is more natural, just a little bit of mascara might be really pretty. Gonna curl our lashes and then go in with our Thrive Cosmetics mascara. So, mascara is done. I am gonna take this brush and just brush away like some of the fallout from that eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And so since I am a little bit iffy about that, this one, I'm not gonna use this today. I mean, it doesn't match anything. This would be really pretty in the summer. I don't know why they sent me to this and sent me this in October, but I think that this is just really pretty for the summer, not so much for fall. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is use the Betty Boop uh, Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette, and we're gonna use this for our blush and our highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for blush today, and we're just gonna use our big Duo Fiber Brush. really pretty my blush is really pretty i think a lot more people are getting into like the blush with the golden sheen thing because you see how like that blush has like a sheen like it's not shimmery but like it gives you just like this glow should i say okay and so like i said so like i said for a highlighter i am going to go ahead and go in and use this shade right here which i believe is heartbreaker because to me, in my head, it only makes sense. So I'm gonna take Heartbreaker, and just add it. Yeah, see, it's like a very subtle blush. I mean, highlighter, but it's too fair for me for a blush. It has a really strong pinky tone to it, but it's not ultraviolet. Like, see, it has a pinky tone to it right here but it's definitely too bam for a blush to me. Okay, and then I am gonna go ahead and set my brows with my e.l.f. Brow Wow Setting Gel. That's it for the brows. Wow, they look so big on camera, but not that big in person. <laughs> so, in ways, next is lips because we can't do and i don't know i feel like this one doesn't really go with the eyes but we'll use it and just see what it looks like on the lips yeah it definitely doesn't go with the eyes and this one is the shade namaste all day i feel like it's kind of like that's like it's the way it sounds to me and i guess it's just because i'm a little more hood is like it's like nah I'm gonna stay all day, but it really means like peace all day. <laughs> I guess you could say like calm or whatever. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. It doesn't really go with the eye look like at all. I wish that they would kind of color coordinate these boxes a little bit more because obviously, I mean, these to me are more spring colors yet again, just like the highlighter and I mean, the blush palette, like you can make it work in the fall, but like I wish that they would just color coordinate things a little bit better, better. like the lip and the blush go together, but you gave me an olive gold green eyeshadow. So like you would just think that it would go just a little bit better. So I'm gonna take this gloss off. Okay, and then this one is just a little bit more pink, but it has like some gold flecks in it, but it is a little bit more sheer. So let's just see. Yeah. So I just put this on top of my natural lip color. 
They look a lot better than like the super pigmented like peachy coral one because like it is just a little bit more sheer and because it has like those gold flecks in it, like I feel like it ties in to the eye a little bit more. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is curl our lashes. Um, if you like lengthening mascaras, I think you'll love the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. But if you're more of a per if you're more of a person who wants more like volume and things like that, and you're not too concerned about length, like I don't think you'll really like this because it does kind of I don't want to say it thins out your lashes, but it kind of grips them together, not in a clumpy, ugly way. Like I don't know if you can tell, but like it kind of just grips them together it doesn't so much spread them out if that makes sense it's not ugly and i really love it so what i'm going to do is go ahead and set with my coconut primer water or cucumber and then you guys know the drill take a little bit of the elf glowy dew mist and just get in there and get her done Okay, like I said, these lashes would have been super duper pretty with this eye look. These are the Salon Perfect 614s. I wish I could have put them on, but I didn't even think about my lash glue. I didn't even, it just, today's been a day. This week has been a week, just, uh, this is the week of, I believe the 7th, the week of the, the week of October 7th, and I'm filming on Saturday, which is the 12th. So from the 7th to the 12th, like it's just, it's been a hard one. I've just been taking time to get myself together. That's why there was no videos or anything like that. I just needed a break. God was telling me to take a break and so I listened. But yeah, like this is a completed look, you guys. I think that this box is well worth the $25 that you pay for it, like I said. And I think that I got in my box was cheaper than well, you had the highlighter, which was $18, but other than that, like everything was higher, $79, 22, 18, 28, 32. And like I said, I will go ahead and put the like the total value of the box. So I think it's worth it. I really like it. Now with Ipsy, you do still have to continue to pay for shipping. So it comes out to like 27 something, which isn't that bad. I mean, I mean, you can afford it if you cut back on things, like if you really want this box. I wasn't too mad at the Ipsy Glam Bag itself either. That is $10 a month, about 11 or 12, whenever you add in the shipping. And so I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I will continue to say that I like this foundation. I'm not mad at that powder anymore. So give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next time. What? I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.